A dip in the ocean is a rite of summer, but swimming at a polluted beach can actually make you sick. The most common ones we see are gastrointestinal problems, um, ear, nose and throat problems and infections, and skin rashes. Urban runoff is the main cause of this pollution, and according to a new report by the Natural Resources Defense Council, that pollution continues to contaminate water at America's beaches. When it rains, water hits our paved streets and flows into sewers. On its way, it picks up everything from car oil and lawn fertilizers to pesticides. This toxic stew poisons rivers, lakes, and coastlines. It takes a heavy economic toll, too. When beaches are closed, the recreational and the tourist economies that, that depend on them don't function. And those economies are measured in the tens of billions of dollars annually across the United States. But there are simple, proven ways to reduce or even eliminate runoff. Installing rain barrels around your home can keep water from running onto the streets. By collecting this rainwater, we are saving it for the summer months when we many times don't have rain for quite a long period. I get to water the lawn with this, um, and actually I'm saving a lot of money to boot. No rain barrel? Homeowners can just redirect downspouts so rain flows into a garden instead of onto the pavement. Using permeable pavement instead of traditional asphalt can also reduce runoff. This water would ordinarily run out of the parking lot and into the storm drain, carrying with it pollution to our local waters and the ocean. But as you can see, it's soaking straight through the pavement, right into the ground, where it can infiltrate and recharge our groundwater supplies. Unfortunately, most cities weren't designed like this. But that's changing. City planners are designing more green spaces that absorb rainwater where it lands. That means less polluted runoff in our oceans, rivers, and lakes. Some cities are even installing green streets that capture and store rainwater. On this block in Southern California, green lawns were replaced with native plants that use less water and don't require fertilizer. What we're doing is really reducing the amount of water that, or the amount of polluted runoff that we have from a landscape, and at the same time we're reducing the amount of water you need for your landscape. Swales, which are simple holes in the ground that allow water to collect, were strategically placed along sidewalks so that falling rain never makes it onto the street. Even if it did, these new sewers would steer the rainwater to an underground system that allows the water to percolate into the ground, not flow to the ocean. So now, when it rains, the water actually goes underground or into these swales instead of running on the street. And it's not just green streets that are on the rise. It's also green roofs. Chicago City Hall is topped by a massive garden that captures rainwater. Local governments have a lot to gain by addressing the urban runoff problem, not only because of the public health and the environmental benefits, but because the main solution, green infrastructure, can make communities greener and more attractive places for people to live. It's a new wave of urban planning that's cleaning up our water and leading to better public health.